There's sort of two philosophies in aerospace. One is you sit around and you think about requirements and you think about what you want to build. Or you build something, you test it, you figure out what works, you build another generation. We really believe at Axiom Space, the path to building something that doesn't exist in the world is you've got to start building prototypes. We sit and think about what we want to build for a little bit, but then we just go build the thing, test the thing, fire the engine. Our role really is to, to lead the way. A year ago, walking into this facility, you didn't see nearly as much hardware as you see today. Full-scale mock-ups, training hardware, flight hardware, Axiom was created to build a space station, and that, that's exactly what this team is doing. We're still on target to launch our first module, the end of 26. The pressure vessel is undergoing welding at Talisalania, our partner in Italy. There's some of the largest forgings in the world. There's only a couple places in Europe that could even forge some of the pieces. The pressure vessel will arrive in Houston next year, and then we'll do all the final outfitting at our spaceport facility. And in the 50-year history of, of human spaceflight in, in Houston, it will be the first human-rated spacecraft ever built in Houston. Our teams are building all the other things. The life support system, the guidance and navigation, we're building our own propulsion system. Our philosophy is to keep as much engineering in-house as possible. It allows us to have long expertise over a long time because we want to be building modules and adding to our space station for years and years. Through our station, we will open up low Earth orbit to the world to explore, to travel, to complete science in space and beyond. Microgravity represents this enormous natural resource. And we think there are things that we can do there that lead to medical breakthroughs, material breakthroughs, and leads to a better world for everyone. It's the ability to produce uh, the highest quality of parts, materials, biological media, an environment that is nearly pristine. Behind this is uh, the Earth Observatory. We will fly it as part of the third module that goes to the International Space Station. And then the International Space Station robot arm will actually move it and position it underneath HAB-1. So it will have this fantastic view of the Earth through the largest space windows ever attempted. This is as close as you can get to actually doing an EVA in space. We talk about the overview effect where a crew's come back and see the world in a different sense than they did before. And I think this is where you can really contemplate that whole experience. AX3 is one of those learning opportunities for a multinational crew to work together in space. This is exactly how we envision Axiom Station to operate, where you have people from all over the world experiencing life as a community in space. Every morning when I walk into this building, I'm inspired by the work this team is completing. It's just a wonderful feeling seeing so many people excited about the prospect of launching the first commercial space station. If we're going to make a sustainable presence outside of the Earth biome, this is how we have to do it. Axiom Space is a continuation of a human need to explore and to move humans into the cosmos. 